the Broadband Commission has published a set of targets originally in 2011 at the Broadband Leadership Summit here in Geneva. And the original set contained five targets which related to different aspects of broadband, mostly for the global uh, status of broadband, but also some national um, targets. So that comprised broadband policy, uh, affordability, household internet access, individual internet access. And the fifth target added subsequently in 2013 related to gender equality in access for broadband. Uh, however, the Commission felt that some of those targets which originally ran to 2015 were worth still monitoring where other priorities have developed in the meantime. So this January at Davos, at the annual general meeting of the World Economic Forum, the Commission published a, a revised and updated set of national broadband targets, which now comprise seven targets, again mostly national, um, but some of them giving the global picture a uh, bit of a mix, so they retained the targets on national policy and affordability and internet access and most importantly they added new targets on business connectivity, digital skills and access to digital financial services. The picture on these targets is slightly mixed. Uh, they now run to 2025. Uh, which is an eternity in telecom. <laughs> um, it's very difficult to project even two years in telecom, let alone eight <laughs> or seven. So um, th this is really uh, something of a, an ongoing project in terms of monitoring and measuring these targets. Um, on the national policy target, the first we're seeing progress has, has, is incremental at best. Some of the plans have lapsed. Um, a number of countries have introduced new plans uh, and developed plans for national broadband agendas. Um, but overall, the progress on that target was relatively incremental and it only increased from 156 countries to 159 countries uh, year on year compared to last year. So we're seeing that progress on that target is relatively slow uh, but steady. Uh, what was new about target one was the introduction of national strategies for artificial intelligence and we're seeing very strong uh, interest and strong growth with a number of countries moving to uh, introduce their national strategies. On target two, affordability, the Broadband Commission has actually revised and changed its definition of affordability and reduced the target from 5% of average gross national income to 2% of average gross national income. So de facto we're seeing a, a reduction in the number of countries. Uh, on fixed broadband, um, some 122 countries have achieved this target. On the individual internet access, um, we're seeing fairly steady growth in uh, internet access uh, globally in terms of the global world population. Uh, it looks relatively clear that um, roughly half of the world's population will soon be online although the actual date has yet to be established with um, any degree of certainty. Um, however, we are, it's taken 20, some 25 years to connect half the world's population and that was mostly in the urban, relatively densely populated areas um, that are relatively easy to connect and we are seeing uh, difficulties and uh, challenges to overcome in extending internet access out into more remote and rural areas. And there's a lot of research underway as to how telecom operators 
are going about upgrading and rolling out their networks. Obviously, the transition from 3G to 4G is relatively well advanced. Um, there are data to suggest that 4G is now available in the vast majority of the world's countries. Uh, there's the 5G transition just around the corner for which the international standards for 5G will be approved as the IMT 2020 standards at WRC 2019 next year. So we're seeing considerable interest in rolling out these new and more advanced networks, but considerable difficulties <laughs> in terms of the funding and financing and seeking the investment for the more remote and rural areas. So the issue of universal service uh, has not gone away and is still very much with us. On the fourth target, digital skills, uh, we see huge range in the estimates available for different countries. On the fifth target um, for business connectivity, we see that more and more businesses are coming online, although the degree of connectivity varies hugely according to the sector. Uh, with regards to access to digital financial services, we see that um, some 15% of the total global population has access to a digital financial service. Um, that proportion increases somewhat to 21.4% of the global adult population um, since many countries' bank accounts may not necessarily be available to children or infants. <laughs> so um, this is uh, a reasonable proportion, but obviously uh, it could be much higher and we see a strong role for digital financial services in improving the access of poorer people to savings accounts and um, enabling them to set aside more of their income and um, weather shocks uh, more readily. Finally, with regards to gender equality and access to broadband, um, ITU's latest data showed that the digital gender divide in fact widens slightly from 2013 to 2017 and we are currently working on the next set of estimates to examine in which direction that particular digital gap is moving and we very much hope that it will have turned around and be moving in the right direction as more women get connected and come online.